Gosh, it's so great to be introduced to all you lovely people who I already know, so it makes it easier when I want to beat him half to death. <laughs> it's, it, it is comedy. How are we doing? How are we? In, are we in the moment now? Are we set? New people, I'm, I'm sorry we bust your chops. The place is special to us. The fourth wall where we ask you not to set your beer like it's a massive coaster is important to us. I've done it too. <laughs> I was yelled at too. I might have been involved in the breaking of the stage. <laughs> Just saying the rules are applied to everyone, including me. <sighs> it is really a weird experience to come up here. Uh, new people, how many of you are actually performers? Are any of you performers? Okay, a couple of you. The rest of you, the rest of you may not have a, have a sense of this. It probably seems a little impossible to stand up in front of a bunch of people and, and do anything. I mean, it probably seems a little strange, a little unlikely even that, that you might do this. I know certainly a year and a half, two years ago, this was a very daunting prospect for me. And it seemed like there was this wall, not just the fourth wall out here that we've knocked down with successive rounds of vodka shots, but it's true. Hopefully someday sponsor, but no, no, no. I've made that wish before. I'm still working on it. But it, it's difficult to get up here, and one of the reasons why is I've got this running theory I've been playing with. I call it the, the possibility barrier. Whenever you come across a new skill, a new idea, anything, it's like, is this? I, I can't do that. How many times have you seen so? You probably saw we had hoopers and poi spinners and things out here, and a couple of times I look at them, I go, there's no way. There's, I can't do that. I'm sorry. And I remember the first time I rolled up on a creative motion event, and I saw so many things that I swore were impossible. I just, I don't know, I'm sorry, That's, that, that just can't happen. And then somebody showed me um, a little juggling trick, and then suddenly that was possible. And before I knew it, uh, I was juggling. And then, you know, it became this thing that I simply had to learn. It became this thing that I had to just kind of push through. We, we around here, we joke, everybody knows this word, I don't know how to do that. Yes! Yeah, they already know it, so it's kind of, a, kind of an obvious idea. The word yet has big mojo powers. And what I think my theory is, is that yet is us pushing and just kind of get one toe on the other side of that barrier and you've got it. Then it's just dragging yourself, kicking and screaming to the other side. I, I recently conquered some new skills. I, I recently learned how to unicycle, uh, which, which is dangerous and stupid and I'm not looking for praise. I, I strongly recommend you try it, but like maybe at someone else's event where we're not gonna have to take care of you when you hit the ground. No, I'm kidding. We will, we will teach you everything we can. Uh, we just, we don't want you to die in front of us. So we'll be very careful about it. I had an experience doing this recently where I, I've been practicing a lot. How you, once you realize that you've got one toe on the other side, you say yet, you got one toe on the other side of the possibility barrier. You, you find that all it takes is that grind time where you're just going to do it and do it again and do it again and do it again. Then you're going to hate it, throw it across the room. Then you're going to finally drag it over and pick it up and do it again and do it again and do it again. Finally, you're gonna make progress. And you're gonna have a breakthrough, they call it. There's a very literal term, a breakthrough, and suddenly you're on the other side going, I got this in front of people, and I'm not falling down, and check it out. And then you fall a little bit, but that's okay too. So I'm practicing last week prior, I admit it, I, I, we had an event called Spin Fest that we do once a month. A couple of us get together, go out in the park, it's, it's like about this many people. Uh, and we all juggle and play and goof off in really, really strong headwinds, which was kind of interesting for the jugglers. And we were doing this, and the week before I said, I'm gonna be ready. And I, I just threw myself into this unicycle thing because I wanted to be able to do this in front of people. I wanted to prove I could do it. And that to me is one of those things. If I do it where someone sees it, that's a thing now. And, and you can't take it away from me. You know, it's not in my head. I actually, proof, right? There's video apparently, which is awesome. But I was practicing the week before, and I had that moment that made me, made me get it. And the, and the value of this thing I'm talking about, about pushing through the barrier. I'm, I'm, in, I'm in the parking lot near where I live and I'm going back and forth and back and forth in little figure eights. I'm, I'm falling down every now and then, get back up and back and forth. And back. I'm trying to get better. I'm just trying to get better. And I come around the corner and there's this, this group of kids and mom is pushing one of these tricycles with a handle on the back. And the little girl's having a bad day. You can see the frustration. You know that moment right before the cry comes? I know I had it when I was learning the unicycle. And she looks out at me and she freezes. And she looks down. 
And suddenly there's obviously this moment where numbers are new to her, but she can count to one. One, and she looks down. One, two, three. And she looks up and she has got a smile on her face. And I would love to pretend it was all about, hey, I'm a clown and I'm fun and hey, no. This was so much better. This was, if that's possible, this is easy. And her little foot came up and she pushed down and all at once she had a breakthrough and forward momentum was achieved. I thought to myself, one, I'm going to hook the tightest left turn I can and chase her like Mary Heck in a moment. <laughs> and I did. And two, I, I, may be, I may get to occasionally be entertaining and that's absolutely, absolutely awesome. But the truth is, the best part of my job is when I get to tell someone, hey, push. Get one toe on the other side, drag yourself, and boom, you've got this. I got to do it there. I got to do it at SpinFest where I taught a bunch of my friends how to unicycle or at least get started. A couple of them said they're actually going to step up and start trying. And most of all, I get to do it here every week with you at the open stage. Thank you.